Hey y'all. I know I've been gone forever, but I'm back. And I am back with a very detailed sew-in tutorial. Versatile sew-in. Let's get started. I've already sectioned out my leave out. And you see that's where it's already pinned up. Now I'm going to take a very small amount of hair because my braids are small because that's the only way your weave really just going to be flat, hold up securely, and make it do what it do. So I take my first braid and I start at the temple. I bring that braid all the way down to the back of the head as you can see. It may look like I'm braiding tight, but I'm not braiding tight. It's not painful at all. However, my braids are very secure. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know how that go. I'm going to continue on the other side, starting at the part where we're going to have the leave out, which is pretty much the temple, and I'm going to braid it down. I'm going to connect the prior braid into that braid, and I'm going to just continue to braid around. As you can see, I'm just braiding, girl. Like, I'm running out of braiding hair right here, but it's cool because I just used, for this particular person, I just used the braiding hair um, for the first two braids just for a little extra security because she has thick hair, so the braids holding up is, is not an issue at all. So, we're going to part the hair in half, part down the middle because I'm doing the double beehive, and I'm going to start from the top right next to the part and start my beehive. I'm just gonna go from front to back, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. Y'all know how, y'all know how that works. I use two beehives instead of one beehive because to me, it lays better and um, that's just what I'm comfortable with doing. <laughs> Now, once I get done with my second beehive, of course, I'm going to take my needle and thread. Y'all know I use small curve needles with nylon thread because that's just the best thread. It's secure. It doesn't catch. It doesn't start stinking when you wash your hair or any type of situation like that. And this is the end result. This is the braid pattern after it's done. Now, take our first weft. Of course, I told y'all in every video that I put my needle through the weft, the first two or three stitches. I'm braiding, I'm sorry, I'm putting this weft underneath of the braid. I'm making sure it sits underneath of it, not on top of it, so that when and if she decides to pull her hair up into a high pony or any type of high anything, <laughs> that it won't it'll be flat and it'll look natural and it'll just blend with her leave out so i'm going to do that and i'm just going to continue to make my stitches very secure as you can see right here i i lock stitch on every stitch i don't skip over that and i make sure that my stitches are secure and there aren't any 
um, catches in my thread so that everything will be cool. I am using the fold over method. So once I get to the opposite side, I'm gonna just fold over and continue to install. fold over right here I've never made a video on a fold over method but comment below if you want to see the way I fold over which is pretty much just like all the other fold over method videos <laughs> if you know how to just fold over the track make sure it's flat secure it a couple times and keep going so at this point we're just gonna get these webs sewn in and I'll be back when I need to come back double the first bundle I put the first bundle in um, single and then when I got to the second bundle which was like more around the center of the head as you'll be able to see here shortly when I got to the center um, that's when I started doubling the web so that she could fit all her hair into her hair again this is what works for me and it makes it makes it thick but not too thick so yeah the hair that we're using is from D Hair Boutique. I don't know exactly which one it is, but y'all know if you wear weave, you know what you know what D Hair Boutique hitting on. Y'all know D Hair Boutique got that got that good good. So okay, okay, again, again, yeah. Let me just I got off track. Okay. we working with this is what it's looking like uh, I'm satisfied yeah I'm satisfied
the rest of the video i think that it is pretty self-explanatory i'll just let you go ahead and watch basically what i'm doing is detangling her hair undoing the twist that i had with her leave out i used cheese silk infusion for um, the natural hair and for the weave and then i'm gonna proceed to styling the hair so guys if you like this video or if it was any type of helpful please please give me a big thumbs up <laughs> if you vibe with me and what i'm doing over here on this channel why don't you subscribe i mean it's free sis it don't cost you nothing just click the button and i will definitely be back with more videos thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you guys on the next one bye
I spend my life chasing the questions and answers to love, life, and cancer. I can't go much longer. I wish I.